Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the uh, um, Centurion data source for Grafana. Uh, so thanks to this uh, data source, you will be able to easily uh, display some uh, information coming from Centurion uh, as part of your Grafana dashboards. So we are going to see that in a moment how to use it. But uh, first of all, we were going to uh, see how we can install this data source. So uh, uh, eventually, the data source will be available in the Grafana marketplace. But the submission process took a bit uh, longer than, than uh, what we expected. Uh, so still, we decided to prove, to make it available to you uh, as a private or unsigned data source. So and we will see how to install this kind of uh, data source. Um, this is not uh, that difficult. So first of all, go to the uh, download.centurion.com uh, website. So in the custom platform section, you will see a Grafana subsection uh, where you can download the zip file containing the, the data source. So download the zip file. Here we go. Uh, so first of all, extract uh, the zip file. And, okay. Okay, so uh, now I'll just copy the, the, the data source, Centurion data source, and uh, you will need to paste it on where your uh, Grafana is installed. So this is not going to work with a uh, cloud instance of Grafana, just on the local instance. Uh, so go to the Grafana data plugin uh, directory, and then you just paste the uh, uh, source file here. Okay, so now what we uh, will need to do is to authorize this kind of, uh, of uh, data source, this data source uh, specifically. So you need to go to the configuration. Then I suggest that you make a copy of your default.ini uh, file. And uh, rename it as a custom.ini file. Not to overload the default settings. Uh, so now you need to edit this file since your favorite uh, text editor. So I uh, must say that you need to have uh, admin rights in order to do that. And then uh, in the allo loading and site plugin section, you just paste the name of the data source of the Centurion data source. That's it, admin rights again. And uh, now the last thing to do would be to uh, restart the Grafana service. So you go where your service has defined. So this is obviously, as you can see, a Windows install. This would work quite the same way on any other kind of uh, operating system. So now the service is restarted. You can go to the your plugin sections of your Grafana and uh, look for the country on data source. Okay, so you need to refresh the page. Okay, Centurion, and here is the data source. So now we are going to see how to configure it. This is quite straightforward. We have very few parameters to set. So first parameters would be the URL of the targeted Centurion. On, in my case, I, I, I choose to use the demo. After that, you can uh, define the access mode saying if you want to the IP API call to uh, be issued from your browser or through a proxy provided by Grafana. So I choose uh, to make direct calls. And after that, you need to enter uh, the, your, the credential uh, of the user that will be used to make the API call. So make sure that you have a user with uh, uh, appropriate rights, in particular uh, rights to call the IP, the API. And that's it. So you are. Uh, data sources installed, configured, and ready to use. What we are going to see now is uh, how to make a very simple filter uh, on uh, this data source and, uh, well, fetch data uh, from, from Centurion very, like, very 101. After that, we will see more complex uh, integration. So um, let's go to your homepage and create a new dashboard. Um, so let's, for instance, rename it, like with webinar, for instance. 
Okay, so now you have your dashboard and you can uh, add a new panel to it. So let's add a new panel and define a very, very simple filter. So first of all, you would choose Centrion as the data source you want to use, and then you will have some filters available to you. So um, really the idea would be to combine those filters to retrieve the data uh, that uh, you need. So um, in terms of uh, filters, you can filter on every kind of uh, resources or group of resources that are available uh, on your platform. So um, let's, so this will de really depend on the installation you have. For instance, if you have uh, business activities installed, then you, have, you will have uh, uh, business activities as a possibility for the filter. So now let's uh, 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 see. So the filters will apply on the name of the platform, on the name of the resource that you want to target. So you can just uh, list the resources you want to target, or you can also use the wildcard uh, in the in the name in order to select several resources in one go. So uh, let's try now to make uh, filters that will collect all load five metrics for a specific host group, let's say. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a host group as the kind of a group of resources uh, we want to filter on. Here we go. And we are going to choose one host group. So we are going to make a filters on the mail, for instance. So we are going to choose one host group, uh, which we group hosts um, used for to render the service of email. So first of all, uh, Grafana will provide you with a default visualization. Let's uh, narrow down a bit the filter. And we are going to choose a filter of type metric in order to select the lot five metrics of this uh, host group. So let's type lot five. And here we go. So that's it. We have now your, our filter that will uh, collect the, all the load five metrics coming from this uh, particular host group. So uh, if we now want to go a bit beyond that, and uh, let, I don't know, maybe we can uh, add a new query, make a query a bit more complex. So what we can do is that uh, if we want to collect data from several host groups, we can just add a new host group to the list of host groups. As I was saying just earlier, you can also use wildcard to select several um, several resources in one go. So now we have a uh, lot five metrics coming from uh, both those host groups. But if we want to add uh, another filters, let's say for instance on service groups, so all of this is very theoretical, but just to show you the possibilities. So we can choose a filter of type service group and select one service group. So now we will add the metric filter in order to be coherent and choose once again load five uh, metrics. And here we go. So in one panel now you have uh, all the load five metrics coming from both host group and from a specific sort service group. Okay, so this uh, tutorial is not about how to use Grafana. I'm pretty sure that you know uh, well the capabilities of the tool, but uh, just be aware that uh, uh, you can select different kind of uh, visualization uh, of the panel. So you go to edit, and then and there um, you have um, several suggestions from Grafana on how to display uh, your metrics, for instance, bar graphs or gauge or whatever you may think of. So now we are going to see how we can use variables. So our data source is compatible with uh, Grafana variables. So we are going to see how to define a new variable and how to use it in our uh, panel or in our dashboard here. So first of all, go to the settings, then to the variable section and add a new variable. So give it a name. Let's say that we are going to call it host. Here we go. So you select the data source, uh, Centrion, and then you make a query. So uh, let's say we are going to, we want to get all the hosts uh, 
uh, of a specific host group. So the resource will be of type host. And in terms of filters, we will select a host group. And uh, well, let's once again use those mail uh, host group. And here we go. So we have our variable defined. And we will see now how to use it. We save the dashboard. Go back to it. And now if we, for instance, edit the panel, which we just defined earlier, then we will be able to use uh, this uh, variable instead of the host group. So let's remove the filter on the host group and let's make a new filter on the host this time that will take its value in the dollar $host which represent the variable that we just defined uh, earlier. And that's it. So now our panel uh, uh, is uh, compatible with variables. So we can choose what we want to display dynamically. Oh, I forgot to quote something in the setting of the variable. So let's go back and let's check those two boxes if you want to select several, uh, several values in, at once. Okay, so now we have in the list of uh, pot pot possible values all the host group belonging to this, uh, all the host story belonging to this host group. And you can choose to select one or several, and then uh, the panel will adapt to your choice and display uh, information related to this, uh, to the selected variable. Okay, so now we will uh, see how this would extend if we have uh, several panels. So let's define another panel. And uh, let's say that now we would like to display the load 15 metrics. So let's select again the Centurion data source. This would be exactly the same as just before. So we are going to add a filter, select host as the type of variable on which we want to filter. And as value, let's select the variable. Here we go. Now let's add a filter on the metric and let's choose load 15 at the, the value of the, of the metric we want to pull. Okay, that's it. So now we have uh, two different panels and uh, we can select variable values that we want to display and this will apply to both panels. So we can select one host in particular and if we exit the pop-in then only uh, metrics coming from this specific host will be displayed, or we can decide to select all hosts, for instance, and display all the metrics coming from all hosts. So now let's see how a bit more in detail, how this would integrate with all the dashboards that you may have, collecting data from other uh, data sources. So first of all, uh, let's display this uh, this dashboard. So here we go. And then you see we have random uh, data coming from uh, other data sources. So for the sake of this uh, demo, we choose a Grafana test data source that just renders some uh, random data. And then the idea here is that we will be able to add a new dashboard, uh, that a uh, new panel, sorry, uh, using the Centurion data source to uh, collect data coming from Centurion and put them together with uh, uh, data coming from other sources. So let's just uh, add a panel exactly the same way as we did it before. Let's use host and let's select the dollar host variables. Obviously, uh, the filters are based on name. So if you have uh, data coming from all the data sources, uh, they will have to use the same uh, name for the hosts in order to make this kind of, uh, of use case working. And let's choose uh, lot five. And that's it. So now you have uh, Centurion data to get displayed together with uh, data coming from other sources, whether it's your DM or app uh, application uh, monitoring uh, tool, all this kind of stuff. And uh, the variable provided that uh, use the same name in terms of host, for instance, uh, then you will be able to use the variables uh, and display together um, I don't know, logs, for instance, or any kind of data that you have. This is also possible to mix the data within a panel. Uh, so let's uh, choose a random panel, this one, for instance. And in terms of data source that we want to use, let's uh, specify that we do not want to use 
one specific data source, but several of them. So in the drop down uh, menu, then you can choose mixed as the data source that you want to use. So as you can see, uh, we use a test data source for, provided by Grafana. And then you can add a new filter and then this, and then choose Centrion as the data source you want to use. So let's make the same kind of filters that we uh, made all along this presentation based on hosts and coming from a specific host group. And uh, let's choose the metric load five, let's say again. And here we go. So within the same, within one panel, so you can put together information coming from Centrion and the information coming from, or data coming from uh, other sources. Once again, the variable so selection will apply to this panel and display anything that you want to use. So that was it for me. So uh, this ends this tutorial. Uh, I have probably not answered all your questions, but I uh, encourage you to uh, explore it and do whatever you uh, might imagine. And if you have any question, I uh, suggest we meet on the watch. Thank you very much.